Hello, everybody. Today I'm here to showcase the next three characters in Disney Heroes Battle Mode. And we unfortunately missed out on the Sheriff when we got to showcase the other three, but we actually got um, the other two characters fairly quickly, which doesn't always happen. Uh, but we did get the Sign-In Hero and then Shigo right after that. So let's see if I can find where those two are. There's Ron. Probably missed Shigo already, honestly. And we basically got half of a Kim Possible team and then the Sheriff as well. And I've seen Shigo a little bit and I've not seen Ron or the Sheriff at all. So it'll be interesting to see what they look like with their animations and how they affect each other. So I'm pretty excited. Let's just make sure I got her all leveled up. Looks like it. So. I'm most excited for Shigo out of the three, but I think they're all pretty great inclusions. I think the Sheriff was kind of a long time coming. And then Ron and Shigo are just great to also get. I was not completely expecting them, um, but I'm very happy that we were able to get them. So that's just my basic thoughts on that. Um, I, I would say let's go into Chapter 17 with just these three and see how that goes. Oh, I had Shigo. I saw it right as I clicked her out. Alright, so I know pretty soon here we're going to see the Sheriff. Unless I already missed him. Yeah, I already missed him. If I miss him again, I guess I can just search for him. He's all the way up here. And then... I think he's at like 3 stars or something, which is pretty crazy. She goes pretty low. I only have her at 1 star at the moment. Same for Ron. So there they are. Ron and Shigo look pretty perfect together, and then the Sheriff is just huge and in a, a fairly different style. Um, so, let's get into it here. I could bring in Joy as well, if it seems like we need a healer. I guess Ron very characteristically fumbles into battle, which is pretty funny. Yeah, I would say there's a good chance uh, it would be helpful to bring in Joy. Let's just try to take in what each of them are doing here. Shigo's doing quite a bit. Um, hmm. Oh, there goes Shigo. Come on, Sheriff, what do you got? You're stunned. And you're dead. Okay. So we got to see all their death animations. Let's, uh... Why don't we bring in Joy? I guess this is the same fight, but maybe we'll be able to do it with Joy. And I've got to see what each of them are doing, because I didn't actually get that great of a look. They keep getting stunned, so I can't see... everything. We've got some status effects. Everyone, oh, that might be from Joy. <laughs> uh, that's the bad thing about bringing Joy. I'm not entirely certain which is which. I'm guessing the Sheriff gave himself attack up. Um, whoa, Sheriff's got a lot of stuff on him. He's also got that torch there that we're... Oh, he did get to use it once. He, it looks like he gets to hold on to it for a little bit. Uh, I wonder just how long he holds on to the torch. So let's try it again here. Uh, I'm actually fairly excited for all three of these characters. I think they're all really cool inclusions. So I'm hoping they're good. Ron, still I've not really got to see him do anything. Uh, he's doing his karate action here. I want to see his monkey powers. I, he hasn't done that once. Maybe we go into chapter 18? I don't know. Legit have not seen his monkey powers once and I probably missed it, but... Let's see. Uh, looks like he was about to eat a Nako and he didn't... There was the monkey one. He straight up killed the one guy. Uh, Sheriff's got his torch again. He's not doing anything. There he goes. He swipes it with it. So yeah, he does quite a bit with the torch. He actually keeps it out for quite a while. Does it go away at all? I guess not. Shigo died, so we might just end up failing here, but we are able to see some of their moves here. Um, let's just watch Ron for a second here. He, he does a lot of melee with his fists. Other than that, he doesn't have that many moves, it seems like. I'd like to see what Rufus does. I feel like he has some sort of move tied to him. 
Um, well, I don't know if we should go harder. Let's go here. So let's talk about the sheriff first. So, the sheriff starts out with his bow and arrow, and he's just shooting at the enemies. Fairly straightforward. And then, uh, he pulls out his torch after a little while. I don't know if he keeps it into the next round. No, he goes back to the bow and arrow. Uh, but as we saw in the previous round, once he gets the torch, it seems like he stays with the torch. And he kind of goes from a ranged character to a, a melee character, which I think is actually pretty cool. Um, some characters have had that in the past, I'm pretty sure, but uh, that's still kind of a cool thing to have. Uh, and other than that, I don't think he does all that much else. I think he has some other status effects and stuff, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty interesting. I think... I'm not entirely sure what determines um, him taking out his torch, if I'm being honest. So, uh, let's go to Ron next. As we see when he goes, he like glows blue. Um, that's his monkey powers, and he does a pretty big hit on an enemy. And um, and then for the most part, he's doing these uh, karate attacks as his basic weapon. He also eats a Nako, which I'm not entirely sure what it's doing, but I have been seeing him take the Nako out. I don't think there's an animation of him eating it in battle, at least. It looks like he just holds it up and then it's gone. Uh, and I think maybe Rufus just shows up and gives him a status effect or something, which is kind of sad. Or maybe he doesn't do anything and it's just in the victory animation. I feel like he's in two different ones. Um, and if you'd like to see what else he can do, I guess you can watch him here instead of listening to me talk about Shigo. We haven't really talked about it all yet. Like I said, I've used her before. Um, so basically, most of her moves, if not all of them, revolve around her green energy. Um, so she kind of does these melee attacks with the... Oh, well, you might not get to see it here. She kind of swipes both fists. Uh, or claws maybe even um, with green energy and attacks the uh, characters and then uh, she also shoots like a, a beam across the screen oh I don't think we're gonna win this one let's just exit out right now maybe try this one uh, so yeah melee with the okay yeah we're not gonna we're not gonna bother Get out! Okay. Oops. Let's just go to chapter 18 again. Come on. We gotta get to the next chapter as well. So she go. Green energy also shoots smaller, uh, like fireballs, if you will. Energy balls, I guess, at the enemies, and then that one concentrated beam. And, um, not sure if she even does anything else. And that's mostly her moves as well. Um, so let's try to bring them into the newest chapter. We can get a Sprig uh, badge from this one. That's pretty cool. So let's just see. Uh, yeah, they're, I doubt they're going <laughs> to. They weren't even surviving chapter, what, 19? Um, I suppose. I can talk about my thoughts and then I feel like that was a bit rushed but I really do want to get to this part of the video so it doesn't take too long. Um, but I feel like they each are pretty simple, you know, some characters have quite a lot of moves and I feel like each of them just have a few things that they do. Um, so like I said with the Sheriff, I think it's pretty interesting that he um, can switch in between a ranged character and a melee and I'm, again I'm not entirely sure what even... Uh, causes him to switch. Well, Ron is still alive, surprisingly. And I don't think he'll live much longer, but... Well, he's still here. We keep finding Maximus, I guess. Uh, hopefully we can kill Maximus. He's healing himself. Come on. There we go. But other than that, like, he doesn't really... Sorry. Hold that thought. It's impressive how far you've made it. I must commend you on a job well done. Commend us? You're the reason we're in this mess. Such hostility. You don't seem to appreciate the beautiful world I've given you. No matter. You won't make it much farther. I'll say this kind of serial quick. I think the design of the main villain in this game is really dumb. I don't 
I don't know what they're going for, but I think it looks pretty bad. Anyways, um, other than that, it doesn't really feel like the sheriff is doing that much. I was hoping he would have um, some more dynamic skills, but um, the ones that he have, he has are, are pretty good, I suppose. And um, I suppose the same can be said for all of them, if I'm being honest. Um, but I feel like Ron has a little bit more going on. Um, he, I don't see a lot of characters who just straight up use their fists as their main weapon, uh, so it is cool to see that. Uh, he is kind of, you know, that was his motif in the show, I suppose. I feel like if we ever got Marco Diaz from Star Wars Forces of Evil, he would be the same kind of, th he would do the same kind of thing, where he would mostly be um, using his his hands and doing karate moves and stuff. Um, but then he also has that big monkey power thing, which is cool. I love his death animation, by the way. Um, and then uh, he also eats his Nako and Rufus shows up now and again. Uh, so just a little bit more diversity in that sense. Uh, I imagine he could probably be pretty good if you were to level him up. I feel like a character who's in their face a lot and can have a big uh, monkey power hit uh, could probably be pretty good. Um, this Maximus might... yeah. Okay, so we may have to take out the new characters just to see if we can actually beat this guy. Let's see here. And then, um, finally, Shigo. I also feel like she really only has three different moves she can do. The one where she swipes at the main enemy in front of her, one where she throws energy balls at the characters around her, and, uh, Finally, the um, the like beam, which hits pretty much all the enemies, uh, and each of them seem pretty good hitters. And she seems like a pretty good character to bring in to damage a good amount of characters at one time. Um, I kind of wish she didn't have that one move where she um, attacks a character because the other two moves are fairly ranged. So I feel like maybe it'd be better for her to be in the back instead of the front. Um, but I suppose that's what they were going for with her character. I kind of just feel like she maybe would have worked better in the back and then just got rid of that one move uh, and trade out for something else or something. I don't know. Uh, but it definitely makes sense that her main thing is the energy since that was her main thing in the, the show. What's your aim with all this inventor? My aim? Whatever do you mean? Could it be that I simply wanted to trap you all along? Or is it for a far more nefarious purpose? I suppose that is for me to know and for you to find out. But I doubt very much that la that the latter will come to fruition. Enough of this. Come on, everyone. Let's end this once and for all. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense for the enemy to have to lay out why they're doing something to the uh, characters. You know, that's a motif in movies and shows that don't really make a lot of sense uh, other than for narrative reasons. But I mean, I'm sure eventually we'll find out. But maybe they'll do it where the characters find out instead of the villains straight up telling them because that kind of makes more sense narrative-wise. E even though I wasn't that impressed with all the moves of the characters, I do think that um, all of them are pretty great inclusions. I kind of said that at the beginning of the video. But uh, I suppose I can say it one more time. Um, the Sheriff is just... A fun character to get, and we had him in Disney Sources Arena, and I think he's probably, I mean, obviously now, he was the most likely character to come, to come next from the Robin Hood series, but um, he just seemed like the mo most likely anyways, so if we were to ever get another one, it was pretty clear he would be the next one, and it's pretty nice that we were able to finally get him. I'm sure it made a lot of people happy, um, even though people probably weren't he wasn't at the top of most people's list. I think he probably made a good amount of people happy to actually appear. And it's always great to get more villain-like characters. Um, and then Shigo and Ron. Uh, I always say this, and I'll say it again. I never thought we would get more than Kim Possible. Because it was such an ordeal to get Kim Possible. But considering that she was the most requested character for like the longest time, it does make sense that they would want to get... Um, as many characters from that series as possible. As Kim Possible, obviously. 
And when Draken came, that was a huge surprise to me. I was just floored. And then I, I was just like, it opened the conversation to, um, is it possible that other characters are coming then, since we early get Dr. Draken? And as soon as we got him, I was like, well, I want to get Shigo too, because while well, I like Dr. Draken, Shigo's my favorite villain from the show. And that uh, uh, wish finally came true. But then it's like, well, if we're going to get Draken's sidekick, we got to get Kim's sidekick as well. And I think I saw people requesting Ron more than anyone else. Specifically, like, Ron and Rufus. I kind of wish they did a duo uh, and had Rufus more in his moveset than it seems like he is. And maybe he does more and I just wasn't able to see it, but for the most part, I wasn't seeing what Rufus was doing at all. I feel like there was a, one of his skills. I suppose I could look at the end if I feel like it um, and see, because I'm pretty sure when I was reading through, well, I could probably just pull up the patch notes right now. But yeah, it was just like a... It was so crazy to find out when that data mine came in that um, we were getting two more characters uh, from the from the Kim Possible series, obviously. And uh, as I keep saying, you know, I can't see them adding more, and it's entirely possible they do, but I just can't see it. And if they do, I mean, I'd be happy to prove them to be proven wrong. I still see people. Coming up with characters they want to see from the show. Uh, I don't know how badly they want those characters, but, uh, you know. Anyway, so. Uh, I'm gonna look at the patch notes real quick while we're just letting these auto. Putting the auto going through. Uh, I wanna see what it says about uh, Ron's skill. So, Rufus Rumble. Rufus runs onto Ron's hand, and Ron throws him at the farthest enemy with his scuffles with the enemy doing damage to stunning them. I, I can't remember seeing that. Maybe he throws him really quickly, and if I was watching the enemies, uh, we would have saw Rufus actually on the, um, on the enemy, and I just wasn't watching. He's pretty small, uh, but I suppose if you want, I, I you. I suppose you could just play as Ron yourself, but if you for some reason don't have Ron or just want to quickly see, you can probably go back to when I was actually playing as Ron and try to focus on the enemies and see if you ever see Rufus actually fighting with them. Uh, I unfortunately was not able to catch that, uh, but I, I would love to see Rufus scuffling with an enemy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he does have a few more moves. I remember uh, Shigo had very simple skill descriptions. So I, I'm not going to look, but I'm pretty confident uh, we got the gist of what her skills were all about. And Maximus again is just killing us. I don't know what I should do about this guy. I don't remember Maximus as being so annoying to fight. Oh shoot. I took it off. Oh, I'm, I took the off thing. That's why. Dang it. Maybe this will work. I, I kind of doubt it, but it's possible. You took your shield. King Louis must have been here. You can see all the bananas. I'm hoping this will just work. I'm not sure if it will. Yes. Okay. It's very strange how. Taking off an auto for a little while can change the result so much. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me if I'm being honest. Anyways. Uh, I'm really looking forward to who they're going to come up with next. We have over 150 characters in this game. And uh, we've got most of the main characters from all the series we're going to get. You m must find the final dev note. Wait, what's going on? P please, I can't hold off much longer. Can't hold off what? Wait, can't hold off. What off? Sorry. The virus, you're all in grave danger. What? <laughs> Thought this guy was against us. Okay. Uh, we should wrap up. My laptop just said I'm running out of storage, I guess. <laughs> so 
hopefully we can beat these final levels quickly. Um, we're almost done, I suppose. Like I was saying, um, we have most of the main characters, so now it's time to get the characters that I'm most excited for. I really like getting the side characters and the lesser known ones. Um, and we start filling out teams as well. Um, I'm really hoping they go back to some of the series that have like three or four characters and give them a fifth one. Because uh, that's, that's really what I'm looking for. I like seeing characters getting out of series that we've had for a long time and that haven't seen any representation for a long time. Series like um, Aladdin or uh, even like Z Zootopia got like one or two recently. I'd like to see some more honestly. Toy Story's got quite a bit and we have seen them now and again. I'm trying to think what other series. I mean ones with single characters like Snow White and uh, Cinderella. Even though Cinderella is fairly newer, but like Stitch was the char the only character from a series for a while, and now there's four characters in that series, so I'd love to see that happen to some of the other ones. Powerline, I'd love to see him get like Max Goof. That'd be pretty cool to see. And Max is a pretty classic character, I would say. Speaking of classic characters, we need a Mickey Mouse character as well. I'd love to see that. And who can forget? I just saw Ursula. We need to get Little Mermaid characters too. Uh, Alright, so we finished it here. The Inventor, that one was called. Now I move on to chapter 35, which is... Oh my gosh. <laughs> they, they are really uh, getting everything they can out of the area here. So here is chapter 35. Just a little bridge, I guess. So we'll do that next time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.